Welcome back to Dark Souls. Alright, so... In this video, we'll be um, continuing on through the catacombs here. Taking these guys on, um, if I didn't mention it in the, uh, the first part of this video, or the first part of the catacombs, I do recommend you um, two-hand your weapon while uh, fighting these skeleton guys here. Um, you can attack them while they are getting up, so that does give you advantage over these skeleton guys. Um, plus, two-handing your weapon is always stronger. So uh, you'll see here, I will two-hand my weapon, and uh, I'll show you guys here three hits there. But when I two-hand, it does only take two hits. So uh, to save some time fighting these guys. Uh, I do prefer you use a two hand or just two hand your weapon um, all right so now coming down here um, you want to be careful about these skeleton guys here there are two skeleton guys on the staircase right here so uh, I prefer or I recommend you uh, just retreat a little bit and uh, bring them up here as you can see that I did get a couple of souls randomly um, the other skeleton guy down there did fall off and uh, fatally die there so if you do fall off you will suffer the same fate that the other skeleton guy did suffer um, if you do fall down there as well um, using fall control spell or um, there is a way of getting down there I'm not very sure if I do show you guys how to get down there uh, in this gameplay but um, Vamos the blacksmith is located down there that is how you uh, that is how you find him. You uh, fall down that the staircase thing right there. So, uh, anyways, heading on down over here, um, there's that illusionary wall, and then the hidden bonfire right here. Um, if you're wondering where this is, this is the second bonfire in the catacombs. Uh, you can, you may have seen that bonfire if uh, you look through the the wall at the second. Um, lever thingy that you pushed in to flip the first bridge uh, but yeah there it is alright so now pushing in this lever right here uh, it flips the bridge over there by the fog door but we won't be going over there just yet heading on back through here there is a weapon over here so you want to come over here and fall over to your right here onto that ledge and fall on down right there and then you'll get the great scythe right here alright so now heading on over here there's a passage right here you take a little bit of damage and this does bring you further on into the catacombs so uh, you haven't been here yet come through the catacombs uh, just be careful about these uh, skull guys here alright so coming on up here we are backtracking here again now so uh, if you took the original way of going through the fog door over the bridge uh, you will be coming from the other side of whichever way I'm coming from here and uh, there was randomly that skull thingy floating around right there I'm not very really sure if they uh, can explode still or see you in there I guess that guy didn't but yeah anyways continuing on uh, there are two skeleton guys right here so just beware about that if you come from the other side around um, you you I'll show you guys here which way you come from here goes the fog door and going through that here is the bridge that you flipped over Alright, so I do recommend you flip over that bridge before taking that little secret passage uh, from taking the Great Scythe weapon. Alright, so coming down here, there is a wall right there that you can break by that message up there. You can fall, do a little fall attack right there and kill that skeleton guy immediately. And as you can see, there was a ladder right there and there is another one on that side. So. I believe there is nothing up there except that one archer. So if I, if you do want a couple more, so go ahead and take them out. I don't take them out here. 
But uh, you do want to watch out for this guy too while coming over here. Just two hand your weapon and take him out pretty easily. Alright, so taking that Dark Moon Sense Ring right there. Uh, that that will unlock the Dark Moon Covenant for you over in N Orlando where the second bonfire is. So all you have to do is equip that ring and the Gwyn statue will disappear and you can go talk to Gwendolyn. Alright, so coming through here, watch out for that mage guy there. And and luckily enough for me, he did drop me a skull lantern. Alright, so these guys do drop skull lantern lanterns. This is the first time I got a skull lantern from those guys. Uh, it is an update with the drop, uh, the drop update and stuff like that. So, uh, all right. So, anyways, I did miss climbing the ladder back there. So, if you wanted to climb up a ladder back there, where you killed, where I killed that the lantern guy, the mage guy, uh, there there are a couple of um. A couple of uh, crystal lizards up there. I believe there's two crystal lizards up there. So uh, yeah, um, you can take the shortcut by falling down right there. There is a soul sign uh, down there to summon the NPC uh, Paladin Leroy. So that is a little shortcut if you want to take that down. But I prefer you don't take that down because there are those skeleton guys that roll around um, down there so I prefer you take the original way clear everything out as much as you can before going down there alright so coming over here um, we're gonna take on this titanite demon alright so t same tactic to of fighting any of these titanite demons um, I prefer you only take two shots at it before you start putting up your shield again. Or else you're going to end up just like me right there. So, I recommend you take only two attacks on it before uh, putting your shield back up. Anyways, here we are again. Round two against this Titanite Demon here. And like always, go after your souls and humanity first before uh, trying anything dangerous. Unless you didn't have anything on you. But anyways, same thing here. Just keeps. I like to circle around on his on his uh, left hand side, which is going to your right. But. Um, as soon as you get past that arm, you can start attacking him. Uh, so yeah, uh, you wanna... I prefer waiting for him to attack and then I attack him. That's just the way I am. I prefer being uh, a defensive fighter instead of a very aggressive fighter for this gameplay here. So what I'm gonna show you guys here is Needle's cover, uh, Covenant. I forgot what his covenant is called. Um, something grave or grave something. But yeah, um, you basically just sit in this coffin for a little bit and um, a cutscene will happen here. Just wait in here for a little bit. Here goes the cutscene here. This will bring you to uh, Needle's, the, the area where you fight Needle. So, um, yeah. So getting back out of the coffin here, you do show up where you fight Needle um, for the boss fight here. Although you don't fight him at this time because this is how you join 
Needle's Grave Covenant. Needle is the only Covenant leader that you ha absolutely have to kill. There we go. And uh, to power up this Covenant, you do use Eye of Deaths there. You did see me get uh, a couple Eye of Deaths after uh, I killed that Titanite Demon. And you do also get the Gravelord Sword here. Um, that sword is... Uh, I don't really like the uh, the fighting style with that sword. It seems kind of slow to me. But that sword does give um, your enemies uh, toxin, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's toxin. I haven't used that sword much. But... Anyways, going on over here, you don't want to climb all the way down because as soon as you get on that ladder, those skeleton guys will start climbing up this ladder. Alright, as you can see, he is stuck there. Just attack him so he comes up here. Alright, now it's safe to go down. Alright, you see these, these holes right here. Just don't fall down there. Uh, you will fall over to where uh, a great X Black Knight is, so be aware about that that darkish colored floor there. All right, instead of doing what I do here, I prefer you just rush over there as fast as possible and uh, kill the mage guy, and then at the same time kill the other skeleton guys. Just two-hand your weapon, kill them pretty fast like that. As, uh, as I said in the other video, uh, these are new, all new commentary videos since uh, part 39, I believe. So from 40 onwards. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.